Hello, my name is Bill. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a collagraph print from cereal box card and acrylic paint. Now, these will be essentially relief prints, and that means you build up a surface on top of the card from which to print. You can do that in two ways, either by pressing uh, dents into the card or building up the surface with other pieces of card in layers. Now, my designs are deliberately very, very simple, and that's because this process doesn't really lend itself to very much detail. Before you begin, collect uh, the things that you're going to need to make a collagraph print. That is a pencil, some scissors, a sharp knife, a sharp tool such as a screwdriver, a paintbrush, a sponge roller set, some white acrylic paint, and some coloured, I've got black acrylic paint, paint there too. Try to get the best quality paint that you can um, and that will ensure a better quality ink. Some golden syrup, PVA or alternatively you can use double sided tape. Some kitchen roll for cleaning up and a plastic box for mixing the ink. Finally, some paper to print on. This is ordinary printing paper. And some card just from cereal packets or uh, card envelopes or packaging such as this. To make your collagraph plate, you will need to first begin by drawing out your design, then redraw the design on a piece of card like this. Now, if you take your sharp tool or screwdriver, you can start to just score lines in like this. Now press as hard as you can just to make as much of a dent in the card as you can manage and go over the whole design then so that all the lines are scored into the card. Possible 
is to take this now, seal it and print it as it is. And I've got some examples here of one that I've just scored, sealed and printed. And this was the result. You can see that it's quite crude um, and that the shape of the uh, Collagraph print really helps to define the car. So when you're making your designs, um, it's a good idea just to keep it very, very simple, um, at least to begin with. If you then take some more card, this is the same card that you've used for your backing, um, it is possible then to create raised areas on the collagraph plate. And that should allow certain details then to stand out from the rest. So the middle of the tyre there, the wheel. These are details that I've already cut out. I'm going to go stick those down now with a little bit of the PVA. You can also use double-sided tape if you prefer. So just a little bit of the glue. Take the brush. And just start to apply the glue to the back. And start to stick it all down. What that should do is when you come to roll over your print, it'll catch those raised areas and leave a kind of shadow, an area where there's no print around it because the area is a little bit lower. For the grill, to begin with, I'm just going to add the lines there before I stick it down.
steadily as the pieces get smaller. Just the side of the tire there. And the smallest piece of all, the back tire. When you've finished, just when you finish, you'll need to Allow the glue to dry for a little bit and then we'll seal it over using the white acrylic paint. When it's dried, put a piece of paper down first, take the acrylic. and just start to seal the whole card paint it all white doing this should allow you to keep using the card and print lots um, and be able to clean it in between otherwise the ink will just soak into the card so go over the whole thing Now that it's dry, I'm going to just sketch in the edges of the car again. And I'm going to cut the whole thing out. Now, 
that could be it um, just to ready to print now or alternatively get some more card mount it on there and just start to put in a background as you like when you're ready to print put your color graph plate aside and start to mix up the ink if you get yourself a plastic box like this take the acrylic color and just squeeze out a little bit into the center of the box like so then if we add a little bit of golden syrup hopefully this will prolong the drying times now one of the problems with printing with paint and not printing ink is that the paint can dry a little bit too quickly this means that if it dries on the plate it sometimes it can't print very well onto the paper so the addition of golden syrup hopefully will make the ink uh, the paint dry a little bit slower and become more like a printing ink take a brush and just start to mix it in as well as you can if you add too much of the golden syrup it'll tend to make the ink uh, a little bit too thin so you'll, you won't get such an intense colour. It can also um, make the ink sort of separate on the surface of the color graph plate. So that's all mixed up. We'll push some of it to the edge there. Like so. And then if you take your roller, I've got a little sponge roller here and just start to roll the roller into the ink like so. Now before we roll the ink onto the color graph plate, get yourself a piece of paper, roll it on the paper first. This should sort of reduce the amount of ink you have on the roller and also get it nice and even. Now another piece of paper underneath should just help with the clearing up later and just lightly roll the ink over the surface like so. It will tend to go into areas, into the lower areas as well. Just make it nice and even. If we get another piece of paper now, and just take the plate and very carefully, just put it into the center of that paper underneath. If you take your paper that you're going to print on and match up the paper underneath to the paper on top. So I'm just matching up one side first and then just allow it to just fall onto there. Just give it some hand pressure then. The whole of your hand, arm your hand just pushing the paper onto the plate. When you've done that, keep one hand on top and then just take a little look at how it's going. You can see that it's printed fairly well. If you need to then, just give it a little bit more pressure. And if it's still not printing the way you want it to, you can always take the side of a pencil and just start to just burnish the back like that and that should give it enough pressure to print. Let's go over the whole thing. Now if you're ready you can see what you've done.
to use it again or to change colour, take some of the kitchen roll, a little bit of water then, to just clean it off. Because it's been painted with acrylic to seal it, you ought to be able to clean it back to how it was and just remove all that black in order to add a different colour to the next print. If you've got um, several rollers, you can have several different colours going on at the same time. It's possible to mix the colours then on top of one, on, one colour on top of the other. Finally, I'm going to demonstrate um, printing in colour. So I'm just mixing up a little bit of orange there. And I already have some um, dark blue to go down first. So you mix up the uh, inks in the same way. And this one, I'll take this roller. Again, put that aside. Take the ink. And roll it out on the paper. Make it nice and even. And then just put that aside. Again, some paper underneath. Start just sort of rolling the ink all into the surface of the plate, like so. And take the second colour and just this time quite lightly just go over the surface like so. That way hopefully we keep both colours on the plate. So printing in exactly the same way as before piece of paper down first. That goes in the center. Then take your the paper you're going to print on, match up on one side the two pieces of paper and just let the top one drop down. Hand pressure then just to start to the printing process. So again, you can have just a little sneak peek by holding one side down and just lifting the edge like that. Now you can see it hasn't printed that well at the moment. So again, I'm going to use the side of the pencil just to burnish the print like that. And that should give it enough pressure then to print properly.